Well, good morning. No, I haven't fell out with the wife. I am actually spraying in the middle of the night. Um, why, you may ask? Well, um, as I said earlier on in the DVD, um, the, the, the seed dressing that we normally have on oilseed rape called neonicotinoids um, have been a temporary ban for two years. This is our first season that we've got to try and cope, grow an oilseed rape without this seed, seed dressing. Um, what the seed dressing basically does is protect you for about six to eight weeks um, against the damage of flea, flea beetle. The flea beetle symptoms, as I said perhaps before when we were in this field, shot holing, shot holing in the leaf. Um, I've had two attempts at trying to control them, very, very unsuccessful. Um, and I could, kept walking the fields during the day and can't see anything, can't see anything. Anyway, um, I, um, I saw on Twitter the other night, um, a chat put on there said something about you will only find the flea beetles um, at night time, that's when they feed. So um, I've done a bit of investigation and um, lo and behold, I think he was probably right. Um, so I took a decision, right, I'm going to spray tonight in the dark and let's see what we can do. So we're putting some Hallmark on, 75 mm Hallmark mixed in, um, mixed in with the Butazan, mixed in post-emergent herbicide. And um, I've actually caught some of the, the little black little bees. <laughs> and, um, and they are indeed, they feed at night. They do not feed during the day. So thank you to the chap whoever told me that. That's a brilliant lesson learned, that really is. So I had a quick nap this afternoon, um, had a bit of tea, and then started spraying about nine o'clock as it got, got dark. Um, so I'm hoping this will really knock them on the head don't know whether I'll have to do it again or not, um, but certainly I'm hoping I'm going to reduce the numbers drastically with a bit of luck. Um, certainly the worst of the damage that I've got here is really on the clay soils. On the bottom of the field here where there's a bit of metal land and on the slightly kinder soil at the top, the damage is not as bad. Um, so I suspect at the moment, I, I think it's probably reduced the population by approximately 50% on the heavy land at the moment but I drilled six kilos, so I'm, set, I'm still left with three, which will be enough at the moment. Um, but it's obviously paramount that we keep on top of these flea beetle now the next sort of couple of weeks, really, to let the crop get, get, get ahead, really. Um, so I expect that's going to be five or six o'clock in the morning, time I get, time I get finished. But um, I'm hoping to come here in the morning and find some flea beetle with their legs up in the air. That's what I'm hoping. Um, so give it a few hours and we'll, uh, we'll see whether I'm right or not. Four Seasons of Farming. Available now from Anglian Agri-Media.